there, Rich. You know, watch this. Here we go. With that beautiful sunrise out at Lake City. But, but right there, there's some rain, Rich. It's it, coming. It's, it's coming. coming. It's coming. Now, this is just for Lake City, our inland areas. But even in this afternoon, Jacksonville will get a little bit. So let's take a look at this. So, uh, first, uh, kind of an idea for the radar where this precip is for our inland areas. So we're mainly talking out here just west of Lake City. That camera was looking towards the west and uh, got some of those showers kicking on by, which, by the way, still plenty of downed trees out in this area. Uh, anytime I see a storm roll through here, I, I, I think about you guys. Um, but uh, overall, it is staying drier back further towards the east, and I expect this past north and west of Lake City, pass around Jasper, Fargo, uh, kicking up 441 there. Uh, for the outlook today, though, plenty of blue skies in Jacksonville is going to allow the mercury to climb into the lower 90s, getting uh, some storms building in by this afternoon through the evening. They're going to remain right along the I-95 corridor. I think at the beach it should stay dry, especially through this morning. We have that surf competition going on out there. Water temperature is sitting at a balmy 84 degrees. How about that? Uh, for tomorrow, though, another round of rain through the afternoon. Uh, 91 degrees, though, here on our Sunday, and I think the rain's going to be a bit less widespread. Might even shift a little bit further towards the north across southeast Georgia here on your Sunday. If you do want to head out, let's go to the sandbar. Uh, overall, things are looking pretty decent. Like I mentioned, isolated chance of rain, but I think you're going to be all right if you want to get out at any of our local, you know, spots to get out there on the water. I know I've been uh, thinking about getting a boat and getting out there. If anybody has some good advice, I'm always open here. Hey, how about this though? Look at the buoys just offshore, two feet. Yeah, it's good for uh, if you do want to get some of those boats out there on the water today. 20 feet there. That is not a spot you want to be. Of course, that is where our Hurricane Lee is at this time, kicking up those swells and actually expect those swells to propagate towards the west. Long period waves coming on shore as we go ahead into the mid and latter part of this week, creating some dangerous surf and rip currents here on the first coast. But we can see here in the latest forecast for Hurricane Lee from the National Hurricane Center, they are showing that hook north. So uh, that is fantastic news. You know, up until this point, it was always, yeah, okay, we're going to watch it. It's going to slow down and it still is going to slow down. But uh, pretty confident on that churn towards the north. Uh, thing is not completely out of the realm of possibility for some impacts here for New England off towards the Canadian Maritimes and even Bermuda, all areas that still need to watch us. And even the, the Cape there on the, the Carolinas needs to keep a close eye on it too. But for us here, we do have a front that's going to come kicking in and you know that's going to kick it off towards the east. So staying dry through midweek, another chance of showers by Friday over towards Saturday. I'm going to leave you with this though. Kathleen sent this in this morning. Beautiful, beautiful shot. Just after sunrise, got some of those contrails out there at the coast. And uh, yeah, if that doesn't get you pumped here. If you ever have any photos or videos you want to share with us, send them to us on our First Coast News website.